guess to say, how do I follow that, really? Um, look, I woke up this morning, and as you do, the first thing I did, look at my phone, have a quick look at Facebook, and what came up on Facebook was that, coincidentally, a year to the day, I stood in front of you with an incredibly heavy heart and told you that, sadly, um, my cancer had returned and I needed to go and get myself better so I could come back and work with you to make sure that we and you as individuals become outstanding. What that means is that if you become outstanding, how and who you influence can change your family, can change your community, can have an influence on changing what happens in the world. Every teacher has that opportunity as well. And what we do as a school in working towards becoming outstanding is making sure that everybody is brilliant at what they do. Because you as students will go on to do jobs that support and serve and work with your community. As teachers, we influence you but if we improve every day when we go on to promotion, we work with other children. So our actions have phenomenal results. And not just here, not just on Hathaway Road, not just in this community, but far, far wider. And I guess this message that I'm going to deliver is one for you to think about and think what you can do to be that influencer. As I lay in bed, pretty ill, fighting against the disease that was working its way through my body, it wasn't death that I was scared of. It was getting to the end of my life knowing that I'd never really truly lived and achieved what I wanted to achieve. There was a study done, a hospital study of elderly people facing death, close to their last breath. They were asked to reflect about their greatest regret. Nearly all of them said it. It's not what <coughs> I've done, but it's what I haven't done. The risks I never took, the dreams I didn't pursue. I ask you, Will your last breath be, if only I had? Come on, wake up. Why do you exist? Life's not simply about working, waiting for the weekend, making no progress in what we do. Some people would say I don't know much, but what I do know is this. Every person in this amazing academy has a gift. It may exist only as a dream. But people don't choose dreams, dreams choose them. So the question I'm getting to is, do you have the courage to grab the dream that picks you, that befits you and grips you, or will you let it get away and simply slip through? Every person was built to live out the dream they have inside. So it is perhaps the saddest loss to live a life without ever going outside. Outside of the zone that you know and feel comfortable in. We're all scared of the thief that comes in the night to steal our things. But there's a thief in your mind who's after your dreams. That thief's name is Doubt. If you see him, shout as he's wanted for murder, as he has killed more dreams than failure ever has. He has killed more dreams than failure ever has. He wears so many different disguises, and like a virus, he will leave you blinded, divided, and will turn you into a kinder. See, kinder is lethal. You know what kinder is? There's a lot of kinder people. 
you kind of want a career, you kind of want to get straight A's or should I say straight nines, you kind of want to get fit, you kind of want to be simple maths, no numbers to crunch. If you kind of want something, then you will kind of get the results that you want. What is your dream? What ignites that spark? You cannot kind of want that. You've got to want that with every part of your whole heart. Will you struggle? Of course you'll struggle. My whole assembly a year ago today was about that fight, about the people that will knock you down, about the falls that you will take. You'll struggle, there's no way around it. But nobody's counting the amount of times you fall down. Just remember, there is no such thing as a smooth mountain. If you want to make it to the top, then there are sharp ridges there must be stepped over. There'll be times that you get stressed and things that you get stressed over. But let me tell you something. Steven Spielberg was rejected from film school three times. The television execs told Oprah she wasn't fit for TV. She didn't give up. Critics told Beyonce she couldn't succeed. But she kept going. Struggle and criticism are the prerequisites to your greatness. That's the law of the world you live in. No one escapes this. Because pain is life. But all of you can choose which type of pain you choose. Is it the pain on the road to success or the pain of being haunted with regret? If you want my advice, don't think twice. We've been given the gift of life, so do not blow it. You are not defined by your past. Instead, you are born new each and every moment, so own it. Sometimes you have to leap and grow your wings on your way down. You better take that strike on goal before the whistle blows, because in life there's no extra time. I feel like I'm preaching and speaking with a force, but if you don't use your gift, then you sell not only yourself, but the whole world short. So what invention do you have buried in your mind? What skill, what cure do you have to bring outside to this uni verse? Don't worry, I'm not going to sing, but uni meaning one and verse meaning song. You, you and you have a part to play in this song. So grab that microphone and be brave. Sing your life out on life stage. You can't go back and make a brand new beginning. But you can start now and make a brand new ending. You can start now and make a brand new ending. Each individual one of you on the 5th of September has a brand new beginning. And therefore, from that day forward, you can define what you do with your life and the influence that you have on your friends, on your family, on your peers, on your community, on your country. But use the skills that sometimes we have buried deep inside. Have an incredibly wonderful, happy Christmas. Be safe. And always, be brilliant.